Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Hey everybody, Mr. Dustin here, and I am so glad that you came to Bible class with me once again. Now today, we're actually going to talk about a young man in the Bible, and he was named Timothy. He was taught about God's Word since he was a little boy by his grandmother Lois and his mother Eunice. Now, you're, you, you are learning about God too as a child. So, you can continue to grow in God and in your faith as you get older, just like Timothy. Why don't we read a book about Timothy? This is a flip book. Uh, it's based on 1 Timothy 1, verse 5. So let's read it together. Timothy loved to visit his grandmother, Lois. His grandmother was kind and good. She loved God and prayed that Timothy would grow up to love God too. Even when Timothy was a small boy, she told him how much God loved him and that God had a special job for him to do when he grew up. Timothy's mother Eunice also loved God. She talked to Timothy about God every day. Timothy's love for God grew strong. He wanted to do what was good and what was right. God has told us in the Bible that he will send his son to earth soon, his mother told him. We must be ready when he comes. They prayed together. Timothy's mother and grandmother saw how much Timothy loved God's word. When Timothy heard about Jesus, he knew that Jesus was God's promised son. When he grew up, Timothy was Paul, the teacher. He was his helper. Paul wrote letters to Timothy, and those letters are actually in the Bible. First and Second Timothy, they're called. Now, Timothy told people about Jesus and what God's Word tells us to do. This was the special job God had for Timothy. We can tell other people about Jesus, too. It doesn't just have to be Timothy. We can do the same thing. Now, who were Timothy's teachers when he was little? Did you catch that? It was actually his grandmother Lois and his mother Eunice, right? God has given you parents and grandparents as well. And you also have Bible teachers and friends to help teach you about God and about his word. Now, Timothy grew up and he actually became the Apostle Paul's helper. And Paul even wrote letters to him that you can read today in your Bible, First and Second Timothy, that we just talked about. Now, because Timothy had such good instruction, he was then able to go and tell others about Jesus, too. You and me, we can keep learning about Jesus, and we can tell others about him just like Timothy did. No matter how old we are, and that's an important thing to remember, even whenever you're a little child, remember, Timothy was a young man, you can tell other people about Jesus, too. Because Jesus loves the little children. And children, just like you, are so important in the kingdom of God. So I want to sing our song that we started with one more time. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. I like that song. It reminds me that Jesus loves everybody, and especially you. Now today, we have this craft. It's, it's like a gold medal with a blue ribbon, and it says, finish your race, number one. Now, this idea comes from 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7. Paul is tell, telling Timothy, I have fought the good fight. I have kept the race. I've kept the faith, and I have finished the race. He finished his race. And so we want to encourage you to fight the good fight, keep the faith, and finish 
the race. And that's kind of what this gold medal is all about. That we, just like Paul, just like Timothy, can fight that good fight and we can finish the race. Why don't we pray together and then we'll be done with Bible class for today. God, we thank you so very much for loving us and for providing for us and for loving us and helping us even as small children to learn about you and helping us to be able to tell other people about you. And we ask you to help us to fight the good fight, to keep the faith and to finish our race as well. Thank you so much for sending your son Jesus that we could be forgiven, and that we could have life everlasting in heaven with you. It's through Jesus that we pray. Amen. All right. Thank you for coming to Bible class today, and I will see you again on Sunday. Have a good week.